Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to the eBay shop. I am Ryan from Resell CMY. We got nine orders going out for a little over $200, but first we're gonna talk about something where we left off last week. Paul is back with me. What's up guys, how are you? I'm feeling better. He's back from chemo that he had uh, Monday. So it's Thursday now, I took two days off plus Monday. So I took Monday through Wednesday off for chemo. I'm actually feeling better throughout the day today, so it's good on all the way around. He's been jamming out posters this morning. We got the dogs fighting as hey. normal. As soon as we start, start talking, as soon as we start talking. But last week we left off on posters. We were gonna list some posters. Uh, he did get one or two done, but we, were, we weren't able to come back in video and show you posters. Today he's been jamming out some more. So before, so before we pull some orders, let's talk about some posters we're listing. Paul just listed this one right here. Deadly Hands Kung Fu 1974 Marvel poster. And that one I just listed for an auction at 199 to start it for seven days. Nice, and you had a couple comps, couple comps for this for, one, right? What one I show you? 300 and a best offer off of 250. Nice, and this one is uh, really nice condition, no tack marks, but it does have these little, like little speckly spots up here. It is in the kung fu a little bit, but I mean overall, it's in pretty nice condition. Uh, started the auction 200 dollars plus shipping. We'll see what ends up. Also, I'm gonna show you some more screenshots of ones that he also listed. Um, right here next to me, you're gonna see, it's like, a, you wanna read off what it is, yeah, Paul? It's, uh, e Pluribus Cannabis Pro Arts Incorporated, Medina, Ohio, 1971, original vintage blacklight poster. Yeah, and that one was in really good condition as well. It had a couple of little tiny tears, like quarter inch tears around the outside. Where'd you start that one at, Paul? Uh, $90, $89.99 plus shipping. Nice. And, and then, a comp of 200 on it too. Really? Yeah, so. So nice comp on that one. Next here is gonna be one that we just put in a garage sale. It's this uh, American Graffiti. You can see a picture of it right here. Um, it was selling for what, like 10 to yeah, 15 10 bucks, bucks at the most. Yeah, ours, ours had some damage. So we're gonna put it in a garage sale, see if we can just sell it for a buck. Next here, we had Paul's favorite. We had this Starsky and Hutch one. Yeah, this one was hard to let go. It's yeah. a 1976, before I was even born. Um, Starsky and Hutch collage TV movie poster. That's all I got for it. And I listed it at $20. Buy it now. Nice. That was in good condition, yeah, right? Yeah, good condition. Nice. In the top left of that one, he's in a diaper firing a gun. So I have no idea. And which, actually, he's in the same exact diaper, diaper as this guy who's getting throat kicked hardcore. So I also love this one. It's called the Deadly Hands, but he's kicking the shit out of somebody. So I thought that was pretty funny. Okay, next here. This one was surprising. Yeah, this, this is 1972 Lord of the Mountain Pro Arts Large Vintage Blacklight Poster. Yeah, that's not the one I was going to talk oh, about. Oh, it's not? That's no. the next one I have. No, the one that was surprising to me is right here, Battlestar Galactica. Oh, that one wasn't worth anything. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. That was what, 1970? Yeah. 1971 maybe? I don't know. 70, was it 80 or 70, 78? It was 70 something. Yeah, it was late 1970s, I believe. I know Battlestar Galactica has a following. I know we've sold Battlestar Galactica stuff before. So for this poster right here to not be worth it was kind of shocking. Yeah, but, and it had some mice damage on it. I probably could have got 10 bucks for it, but I would Yeah. Have when we pulled it out, we, I thought immediately it was going to be like 60, 70 minimum. That is also in the garage sale thing. So the one Paul was just talking about, this uh, Lord of the Mountain. Yeah, from Pro Arts. That's a good brand. If you guys ever see Pro Arts um, on posters, pick them up. They make a lot of vintage posters, and they're all good money. This is a 1972 Pro Arts Lord of the Mountain blacklight poster, and that one I listed at $90 to start the auction. Nice. And then next here is just a random little uh, owl poster. Who makes this one? Springbok. Like Springbok. Yeah. So just like the puzzles. We have a, some of these we have duplicates of too. I know we had duplicates of this one, but it's weird. Some of them were stored perfectly and some of them were stored with a bunch of damage. So this one happened to be perfect condition. Would yeah. just end this, up with this one for $14 uh, plus shipping. No, right. So it's a lesser value one, but it's still a nice condition, nice poster. Here is a shocker. With comps too, mind you. This one right here, thus endeth another day. Peanuts poster, you can see Charlie Brown here drinking out of a drinking fountain, spraying himself. Keep it down over there, ding-dongs. What'd you see on this one, Paul? 
uh, $1,850 was one that was listed. How and many, then another one for 500 it had, it had like 31 watches, 31 right? watchers on it for $1,850. Um, I copied that listing, obviously, and put ours at an auction for $399 to start it. And uh, actually, I got a comp that was for $500 that it sold, $495. Yeah. So it's, it's all day a $400 uh, poster, I think. Yeah, originally when he first started it, it was going to be $199 starting the auction. And then Heather, thank you, Heather, for all the comps, by the way. Uh, Heather came through with a comp for us that it had sold. $495. Yeah, like in I can look right now. 19 or in 2018 or something. I think it was like five, six years ago. 2022. 2022 sold right for. $495. Nice. 2022. So we, we jumped up the minimum uh, first oh, bid on that. Just ours are in mint condition too. Like that, that out of all the posters, that was probably the best one. The next one here is going to be another Peanuts poster. This is a uh, Sally Brown. Oh, I can't read it from here. I started this one at 99 or 100 bucks. 99.99. Uh, start the auction plus shipping. Nice. And that was the first Peanuts one that you That's pulled out. Level, uh, yep. Now, let me show you what we're dealing with with the Peanuts one. So, those two were in mint condition. We also have some more that are going to be buried in this tote inside these big tubes that are going to be the Peanuts ones. But check out how unfortunate this is. Right here is, you can see... The same one. The water damage. Is this the same one? It looks like it. I think it is, too. Um, no, I, I opened it. It's right here is the same one. Yeah. So this one was a hundred bucks and we opened it and it does have a little bit of water damage on it. That one's not too bad actually, but some of these are really bad. And there's, I think right here, here is the one we listed for 500 bucks and you can just see the water damage. So if we can get that sold, we'll open that up and see if maybe we can salvage some of these. Some of them are in horrible condition though. There's another Springbok one. That's koala bears, not the owls. But there is a bunch of different Peanuts variants in there. So hopefully some good ones are stored away properly in there. We did have another Wonder Woman. Sal. Or not Sal. Paul listed this one here. It's going to be See the Superheroes at SeaWorld. What was it, 1976? Yep, 1976. 1976 Marvel poster. And he found it that it was some rare poster. I but, it up when I was home. Yeah. So we have three of them. The unfortunate thing is... Wonder Woman, whoever that is. Whoever played Wonder Woman, they had her sign the posters Wonder Woman. So that sucks. Because it's not even the real Wonder Woman. And it's not even a real name. Even though Paul said some lady named Wonder Woman signed the posters. <laughs> which was a pretty funny. So... Uh, what was the comps on that? Like a hundred bucks? Uh, I don't even, yeah, I think so. And then you started this one at 40? 50. You did to go up to 50? Yeah, let me find her. So we'll see. It's still an awesome poster. 130. Okay. Unsigned, it sold for 130 bucks. That's the comp at least. Um, that was in 2021. Yeah, and that was a few years ago. We have three of them. So we would have been looking at, you know, 300 to 400 plus dollars on three posters and it just sucks. They had all of them signed Wonder Woman. Next is gonna be a, the first one Paul listed today and the last one we're gonna talk about. Um, it's a pretty awesome one. It's a yeah. black light poster called Sp Spideria. Spideria, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Black light, trippy, psychedelic black light poster, Spideria. Um, and it, I, 21 by 33 inches, and this is at $100 to start the auction. Started the auction at $100. These uh, vintage black light posters are super cool. Um, this one was just psychedelic, trippy, excellent condition, no tack marks, no tape marks, uh, no tears in it whatsoever. Kind of curious to see where this one will go. It did not have any comps that we could find. The only thing we could find is that same exact design was on a little card and sold for like 15 to $20. So this poster being in the condition that it's in, uh, we're hoping to get some really, really good money. So that's it for the posters. Thought we'd start the video a little bit different here today. I'm gonna go over real quick. I wanna thank somebody. Um, 
uh, that sent in another magnet for us. We got Rod and Angela from Lonesome Oak Pickers. We got some stickers right here, Patriotic, which we love. We got a little gift for Kennedy right here, so thank you very much for that, Paul. Bring that home for today. And then we got a nice note. And also, I'd like to thank you for your service as well. So thank you so much. And then we uh, got a Georgia, Georgia magnet to put up here. Go Braves. That is my team. That is my son's team. That is my father's team. Grew up watching them on TBS up here in New York. Uh, thank you very much for the magnet. And we got your card too. So we threw it up on uh, J3. Lonesome Oak Pickers. Um, thank you so much for sending that in, Rod and Angela. Um, Appreciate that very much. Uh, I lived in Georgia for a little bit at Fort Gordon and then Fort Benning. Uh, yesterday, Paul, on the video that I did, yeah. we had uh, Alaska and uh, Arizona, right? And on this, it talks about the dry heat, the one from Felicia. Yeah. So I talked about how in Iraq, I would be like, yeah, it's 130, but it's at least dry heat. And then the Alaska one, I talked about living up there when it was like minus 50. So I was like the whole spectrum of heat. And I know what? Airborne school in July at Fort Benning is extremely hot. I, I loved running, doing the airborne shuffle for eight plus miles every single morning with boots. Seven months and Camp Lejeune, North Carolina was hotter. Really? Just because of the humidity and yeah, stuff? Yeah, it's pure humid. You can't walk outside without That being heating. said, in Iraq, though, if you touched a seatbelt or oh, your weapon, you yourself. had to have gloves yeah. on because yeah. that heat yeah, would scorch. Heat. It's like a blow dryer. I literally would be standing in the back of a Hummer, driving 50 miles an hour, and the wind's hitting you, thinking you cool down. It's like the hottest blow dryer on your face. You can't even breathe the air in. Yeah. It's disgusting. What do you got there? Raging mm -hmm. Bull? De Niro, Raging Bull. This one's ripped and it's shred, so I'm Same pit, same yeah, poster. Same he one. has my nose. <laughs> but uh, thank you, Rod, Angela, thank you very much. Um, now we're gonna go to pull some orders, Paul. You ready to do yeah. that? I'm gonna take out my phone. Let's see here. Not many to pull, so. No, we got nine of them, and thankfully we had a bunch of help from viewers. First one, Paul, is right behind me. Yep. T1. Three left, or two left now. This is a vintage Belique creamer, maiden woman, girl, lady pitcher. And this thing sold for $11.43, free shipping. Nice. We just sent one of those out the other day. Now we got a message. Hey, Ryan, I just saw this awesome frog on your selling video. It's perfect for, uh, for my frog-loving friend. Uh, happy selling and spring Pam from flipping hot finds. Thank you so much. She is talking about right here We're gonna do one of these royal limited jeweled frogs I just posted a video that had one of these in it and uh, she saw it came along picked this up uh, Thank you very much. What is this Paul? $12 and uh, I, forgot what this one was. I'll tell you in a second. I think it's $12 and 12 31 plus shipping and she also d21 Grab some stuff that Paul listed here. They're in here. I don't know. Where, where are they? I'll check them out there. I'll find them. Oh, that would suck super bad right there. The bag. We got uh, three of these Looney Tunes pins here. Tasmanian Devil. Uh, I think Tweety Bird and another one in there. Uh, they were lotted up because they were in the bottom of a tote from Dan's. Um, what's the price on these, Paul? I got it. I'm guess I'm guessing ten bucks. Uh, you're guessing correct. Ten dollars and fifty five cents. Ten dollars and fifty five cents on these. So Pam, thank you so much. That is awesome. Uh, happy to ship those out to you. And the very next, nope, not the very next. DD. You got dogs whining in the background still. <sighs> What's going on over here? Let's see. Oh, they got the tiniest piece of wet, soaking wet cardboard. Kabas doesn't even want it. He just wants her to go after it. And at least they're being pretty good. Boom. Donald Duck. Vintage Wilton Donald Disney Donald Duck cake pan number 515-5070. Kind of. Looks like just like him, don't I? Yeah. Gave me color there, but good. <laughs> Gave you a couple inches. Uh, yeah, we don't do super awesome with these pans some of them are okay this just came from that big lot at dan same as these two or same as all the items so far 
Next here, we have... Can we have both these in the same day next to each other? Yes, I was going to mention that. So we got a nice one here. Another uh, viewer sale, so thank you very much. Hey guys, my husband and I support, uh, enjoy your videos. Wanted to show some support. Our daughter turns five next week, so happy birthday. And loves uh, Disney princesses. Princesses. Man, my English sucks. Our son loves the uh, vintage DuckTales. I used to like that when I was younger too. Uh, I blame my husband, Ella. I <laughs> uh, hope we get a magnet soon. Oh, is this, is this the same? Yeah, it's the same people that just gave us the magnet. Angela and Rod, thank you so much. Oh, nice. So, J3. I didn't even put that together. And then uh, you guys saw the magnet already. So thank you so much. We'll be shipping this stuff down to Georgia for you. They were both in the same drawer, believe it or not. Uh, you grab them already? Oh, yep, they're over there. Put them up there. Yep. Okay, so we got these vintage DuckTales cups right here. There's just uh, three of these. Um, I got these at a garage sale. I think I bought a bunch of comics or something. I had them throwing cups. Is yes, that right? Yeah, you did. I had them throwing these ducktail ones. I think there was some Notre Dame ones that sold already and something else that sold already. Um, those cups were $9.67 with free shipping. And then we sold one of these princess watches. I just shipped out one of these the other day. They're uh, interchangeable up there. And uh, that sold for, let me see, $10.55 with free shipping. So we'll ship out both of those together. Thank you so much for all the support and sending, uh, sending us in the magnets and stuff. And next, another viewer. we have another viewer sale. Um, watch the video and my girl will, hold on, my reading and trying to do all this at the same time is just horrible. Watch the video and my little girl will love this. Um, you can feel free to send the messed up one in the box. She won't care. Keep up the great content. Thank you so much. Um, what, he's, what they're mentioning there is there's one of these that has box damage that, has box damage that we were going to relist. So thank you so much. It is going to be another one of these Royal Limited Frog uh, keepsake boxes again. That's going to be another $12.31. Um, Jeremy, thank you very much for that. Thank you. Um, it's been really slow this week on eBay. I think there's been a, like a $200 day, a $100 day. Today was $212. So you guys coming in and, and all these viewers buying all these sales and stuff. I mean, we couldn't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. Um, it really helped out uh, for as far as sales. We do have a really nice item going reset? here. Uh, we're going to watch Paul try to get that. I'm ribs. just kidding. I can't even <laughs> think about that. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Matt, you listed 2002 Star Wars Attack of the Clone Saga Collection. And uh, Accolade Arena Battle Beast. That's the name of it. <laughs> uh, pretty cool piece there. I definitely would have played with this when I was a kid, for sure. <laughs> Uh, this came from the Star Wars buy. It's a really good piece. I hope you heard everything that Paul just said while I was goofing around. $50 plus shipping on that one. That's going to be a fun one to ship. Hopefully that collapses down a little bit. J12, Paul. Last one in here. First Order Stormtrooper VC-118. Star Wars action figure. $17. Free ship. Nice. Now will go out super light. Next is from the Meth Buy on EE. It's a Kathy Ireland poster. And we had this listed for over 25 bucks. But someone messaged and asked a bunch of pictures about it if we had any that weren't uh, weren't dented, weren't folded and stuff. And we do not. There it is. So you're going to see it in a screenshot. It is Kathy Ireland floral bikini vintage. Um, it does have fold marks and stuff. They offer 10 bucks plus shipping. It was the first thing I got to sell yesterday, so we took a big discount selling it, but you know, these posters sometimes can be a uh, long tail item. So happy to get that out the door for 10 bucks. Uh, Pam, Angela, Rod, Jeremy, thank you guys so much for all the, uh, the support and coming and buying some items here. I'm actually gonna try to include tomorrow's sales on the back half of this video. So just stay tuned. We're gonna leave you right now, but we'll be back in literally one second. 
All right, we are back, and we are back with another slow eBay day. We have six orders for just over $200. I think it was like $212. Um, good news is, though, we had a really busy day listing items yesterday, and then this morning so far, it's 11.35, and we've already listed a ton of items. I've gotten all sorts of Star Wars vehicles up. Paul's been working on posters. Uh, how many posters do you think you got up? Uh, probably like eight today. Eight, yeah, he's probably got like eight, maybe even a little bit more than that, and they have some really good value. We're gonna go over the rest of the posters that uh, he listed today too. The one behind me decided to keep, but there is a bunch of Peanuts ones and stuff like that that um, he listed for really good money. But yeah, we'll uh, get to pulling some orders here. Not gonna be too much, so, but it'll be enough to fill out the rest of this vehicle uh, video a little bit. First one here is gonna be on B. It's gonna be this Lily Put Lane. And there is two of them, but one sold. It's gonna be Heaven Lee Cottage. Um, these don't have a ton of value, but they do sell. Um, this is a little bit bigger than the, a lot of the other ones that we've had. This one sold for $14 plus shipping on that one. On C, we have these random Adidas. I think uh, the person I used to work for got rid of these and I held on to them thinking that maybe Julia could use them someday. Um, but they are just too big. They're, I think, oh, women's yeah. size nine or something. I just bought to buy tubes. I actually found them a little cheaper. You bought more poster yeah. tubes? We found them how, how, cheaper. How much for how many? Uh, I bought 50 of them, two inch by 30 inch poster tubes with end caps, delivered $72.90. Nice, you wanna show them an example of that right there? Yeah. How much was it total? 30 inch, uh, $72 nice. and some change. So a little over a buck a piece? Yep. That's worth it, especially with these. Uh, Posters. Yeah. Um, these Adidas Cloud Form shoes though, so for $14.95 plus shipping. And Dan's bookshelf. Yeah, I remember that. A lot of these, not a lot, but a lot of these songs and story. These are Disney songs. Brand new sealed CDs. There's a lot of four of them. A while ago, we had like a lot of like 12 or something that we yeah. sold. We just happened to find four more in a tote. Listed them. It took a while to sell. $13.19 with free shipping. That'll be media mail. So we'll make like seven or eight bucks on that. D18, Paul. Oh, it's going to be that helmet right there, isn't it? It is. This is that uh, Thunderzord Assault Team. Just the helmet piece. We need to put stuff in this room. Yeah, just um, parted that whole thing out because it had a broken piece and it's worked out great. This is $40 with free shipping. It's going to say plus shipping because this is going international. And I love when there's international sales because we are done that. with it. Yeah. Next one here is this poster. First poster to sell. Uh, it says Snoop on it. That's how I custom skewed these. As you can see, if Ryan turns the camera there, all the posters I've been listing the last two days. There's those are older ones, right? Yeah, I'd put a couple down there, though. Okay, and then all these, all these up there. This is another one. This is a vintage orange. They're all color-coded, so these Snoopy posters, that's like a big thing is the color. This is an orange dancing Snoopy wall poster, 28 by 20 inches. This one was damaged with some watermarks on it, actually, and it sold for $50 plus shipping. Nice, to a repeat buyer, too. Um... Fifty dollars on that, and Paul just the last one you listed was that other one again, yeah, just right? Just for hundred bucks, and it was uh, in better condition. So, man, these we never would have guessed it with these uh, peanuts posters. You Next here we got drop ship in action. I think. That's yeah, this one right there. Are they both the same? Or are they different? Okay. Yeah. So Star Destroyer and Mon Calamari Cruiser. Does that sound right? Yeah. Twenty-two dollars with free shipping on this, so I'll make like probably twelve, thirteen bucks after we ship That's it. Our that is it right there. That's what a whole store does full time. Yeah, so we'll have to uh, take, take a couple time. hours and ship that out. Take our time and ship. Um, let me just show you again, Paul. You want to bring up the totals for the posters? Like how much is listed? Like no, no, no. Like so, when I talk about one, just like we did yesterday, where I talk about one and then you say the price. Oh, okay. Okay. What ones are we on? Okay, on so same one you're on here. right there. So I'm going to show you a screenshot right now. This one says Joe Cool oh, hates Sunday no afternoons. And it's a green one. Yeah, and that one I listed for eighty dollars and starting bid. So that's an auction. And it already has a watcher. Yes, yeah, already has a watcher. So, Tony, these are really good money. And this, 
And this one already has, or this one also has damage. We showed you guys a box of them that had like uh, dirt and grunge on them, or grime on them. And we're opening up and listing them and showing the damage and they're still. So I got the pink one next. Yeah, next one is a pink Snoopy Charlie Brown poster. Um, that one's, uh, you can read it better. A kiss on the nose does much towards turning aside anger. And that one has a watcher already too. And I started the bid at $100 on that one. Nice. And then I got Blockhead. Okay, the down. Lucy you one. that one then. Okay, there's another one in yeah. there. Uh, this is a Lucy one, political. This one actually, it says, vote for the Blockhead, the blockhead of your choice, which will be a good one for uh, this year. <laughs> or any year, really. I've seen this one actually sold a couple times for 200 bucks. I listed ours at 179.99, and I have another one. And that's with some corner damage. Yeah. The One of the ones that sold for 200 bucks had a rip right like, in the at middle, the bottom. The inches. And then uh, some other marks and rips too, so. That was a really good one with you good subject matter. You guys can't see it, but this one, Ryan didn't, if you can see that, Ryan missed doing a picture with that one. That one is a Schultz Snoopy poster. It says, I have more to do than sit around and rap with a bird. And that one I listed for $60 because of damage, and that's a buy it now. And that has a watcher already too. Yep. And that one had some pretty serious damage. That was the worst one out of all of them, right? Yep. Yeah. So next, uh, blue one. Lucy. Lucy this is, here. Uh, what's it say? Smile and... Smile and the world smiles with you. Crab and you break the monotony. And that one I listed for $100 with for an auction. Start the bid and it has a watcher on it already also. I wonder if the same person's watching all these things. Uh, next I got this one. Um, It's a 1960s blue... No, oh. I had this one. Oh, that's one I... Oh, missed. that's the one you that you said one, I too. missed? Yeah, that's another one you missed, so you missed two. Oh, okay. I missed the baseball one here. Sorry about that. There's a Charlie Brown 1960s poster. It says... You want to show them real quick? Yep. Thought for the day makes a... No, sorry. Thought for the day, a smile makes a lousy umbrella. And it's there's a picture of it. Baseball rain out action. I listed that $100 to start the auction. It's already got a watcher on it also. And yes, I have. I hate it when I don't get any love letters. Yeah, that one we have like five or six of. I list it as a buy it now for $100. And we already have a watcher on it. Nice. And then the Bruce Lee. The Bruce Lee one. Okay, that one was in between, I think. I think it was the first one you listed of the day. Was it? find it i don't see it no, I well know. i'll show a screenshot of it right now would you listen for 40 yeah 40 dollars uh bruce lee one you can see it right here he listed it for 40 bucks that was the first one he had um yeah so those posters oh, yeah. are working out tremendously um and then we had this <laughs> this burt reynolds one which we had to make a joke out of because we were unraveling it and starting from down here and we we're like uh, what, who's this going to be? Joe Namath's ass or something? And then it ended up being Burt Reynolds. 1972. Someone's going to want that for I sure. I have two more Peanuts posters that I'm going to list today to make sure we have all of the ones that we have up. Nice. Up. And then let me oh, show you what's dupes. left over here. Then we have a lot of duplicate ones. These are all going to be duplicate ones. And you can see what we're talking about. Now, a lot of that grime right there comes off with the plastic, but almost each... Each and every one of these has additional damage when you take it out. The cardboard tube has actually left uh, lines on all of them. Um, it's just how it's been. Some of them we have are like mint condition and a lot of them have had damage. So we're just gonna keep listing them. If we're pulling on damaged ones, if we're pulling 30, 40, $50 a piece, it's gonna be awesome. Plus we have a couple of really big expensive ones in there. So. Glad we were able to show you some of the posters in this video. Um, we're going to ship this stuff real quick, go to lunch, come back, start listing some more stuff, and then call it, a, call it a week. So thanks for sticking with us up to this point. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Thank you, guys. See you guys in the next one. Say Resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.